Friends, I wanted to take a minute to do a follow-up video about my Troy built uh, hydrostatic Super Bronco riding lawnmower. I got this four years ago. Uh, those of you who have asked me a lot of comments about how it's going, am I still liking it? Does it still perform well? The answer is yes, I love it. It's doing great. And uh, this has been excellent. So I'm starting my fourth season with it. I mowed with it last week. I'm gonna tell you the things that have happened uh, this is just a follow-up as to you know, what I think about the performance and, you know, the maintenance and everything on it. Um, it being almost zero maintenance. I've mowed for three years. I have about an acre of land to mow. As you can see, it's kind of wild grass. It's not a uh, fancy turf or anything. It's sort of a wild and sort of rugged little area where we live. It's, it's, it's just a, it's the top of a mountain in western North Carolina. And... You can see kind of how the grass is, a lot of dandelion stuff up. So I, I mowed about a week, week and a couple days ago. I'll go back over here to the mower. Everything's a little dusty and covered with uh, pollen and all now. I keep the mower in my garage. And the only maintenance I've done on it is I've changed the oil. I think all together in three seasons, it mows my grass so fast, I can typically, typically mow my acre of, of grass, my, my yard, um, in about 20 minutes 20 minutes so i've got a another mower anything i can't reach with this one i uh, i have a smaller mower that i go out and it takes me about 15 minutes before that i was doing about two hours of mowing so now i do about 20 minutes and about 15 minutes <laughs> of trim work with the smaller mower and so what has uh, happened i put oil in it uh last uh, did two seasons with absolutely zero issues at all Last year, I was mowing with the, the deck a little bit too low, and that birch, that water birch out there, had a limb that was sticking, not a limb, but a root that was sticking up out of the ground. And I went over that root, and I threw the belt on it. I hit the bottom in such a way that it threw the belt. It has, you know, twin mower blades in there. So, yeah, um, yeah, I, I didn't even have a way to get it up off the ground myself to go into there and try to put the, put the belt back on. So I hired a young man. So I'm gonna give a big shout out to a guy named Christian Brandon Williams. For those of you who are local people looking for great small engine repair, you can find Christian on Facebook. Christian Brandon Williams, I think it's a Christian Williams uh, Small Engine Repair, five star rated on Amazon. I found him through Google and he had like 4.8 stars and he's very reasonably priced. He'll actually come pick up with a trailer your mower and go service it, take it to his place get it up so that he can work with it get the belts and all reset so that happened once last year it was my fault and then about three weeks later the belt came off again or at least i thought that it did but it turned out that the belt had just gotten some wear on it and it broke <laughs> so it was ironic i thought oh no i'm gonna start having, having belt problems but that wasn't the case i got through the rest of the summer this thing is super dependable it pulls my like this I, I weigh over 300 pounds all right this morning i think i weighed 304. Uh, i have weighed as much as about 325 so i've got been a, been a porker here lately but anyway i'm starting to try to lose my weight again and improve my health i'm an old football tackle folks so you know i'm 280 pounds is not crazy uh, heavy for me but i'm, I'm a bit overweight but what's gonna, the reason i'm bringing this up i don't know if you can tell here but there's a grade here uh, i'm on a hill a lot of my land if i walk around to show it to you a little bit is on an angle and this pulls me up and down these little hills and round and round all these trees and everything just superbly so I'll, i will give you a scope of what the yard is so you see what i mow and um, i go every through every bit of all of this in roughly 20 minutes i think in three seasons i only have about 28 hours on the mower at this point and i go round and round these trees around bushes that's a burn pile over there where i had a big pile of uh trimmings and stuff that i'm trying to clean these woods out below me i own this acre below me as well which i'm trying to keep kind of wild and make some little trails down there but it falls off pretty precipitously you can see we have a uh, it's a valley on a clear day you can see charlotte you can see the towers of charlotte i can actually see them right now but you won't be able to see them in 1080p on this gopro unless i were to zoom in but off in the distance on the horizon i can see the big buildings in charlotte and this is, continues on. I mow all this. This little area over here, I do a weed eater with that. And I've got multiple hammocks in the summer. When the leaves all come out, we've got lots of shade. And this is 
all the area that I mow and I have to mow this area out front too. Might as well make the, the entire run. So all this that you're seeing, now that, now all this rock area here, I gotta go and put some poison down to keep the little mosses and stuff from coming up in my rock area. So, and I got blueberries and stuff here. We need to remulch those. We're just getting ready to start with the spring. Uh, spring is just now starting to, to, to sprung, as they say in North Carolina. I'm soon gonna be putting a road in here to go to the back piece of property. I'm gonna have to clear out some trees. But anyway, I have to mow all this little front area here too. And so all together, an acre that the house sits on, probably half of that, maybe a little more than half of that, I actually mow with the mower every week. And it usually starts in late March and we go until, gee, probably third week of October first week of November that I mow and uh, I can just pop these mowings out pretty quickly we had a bad ice storm that tree there that looks all funky uh, we thought it was going to die it's another water birch but I uh, had an ice storm that decimated that tree and I'm sure people on the hill were betting that tree would never come back but look at it we cut it all back and we think it's going to come back better than before water birches do great on this hill so we mow all this little stuff up here I do a little bit of weed eating and I have a, uh, like I say, a smaller push mower. Now I'm thinking about probably this year uh, investing in a, um, in a small electric mower and I'm looking at one of the Cobalts. I think Cobalt has a really highly rated one on uh, at Lowe's that you can get. I'm looking at one of the 60V Max, they make an 80V Max. But I'm thinking I'm gonna get a, a uh, electric mower for my trim work. I just like to do that. I hate having, uh, I hate gas vehicles, but you know, it only makes sense for the riding lawn mower. I think it'll be a while before Tesla comes out with, with a mower. <laughs> and it'll cost way more than I can afford. But yeah, this is the yard that I mow. And you can see, uh, for a guy, for that mower, it, the things I like a lot about it is it the very tight, turns for a uh you know for for this kind of mower for the old style mower not one of the zero turn mowers so it does great pulls my big butt up and down the hills with no problem and me weighing over 300 pounds and does a great job mowing i'll, I'll show you some of these things a little later when it's not uh you know after it's been mowed and it's not all shaggy looking grass the thing I started doing last year though, uh, I have been cutting my grass really short. This year, I'm only gonna cut this, I think I'll leave it I set at three inches. So it looks like the grass is about five inches in most places, six inches in some places on out here today. But I'm gonna mow it down to about three. It's not gonna be super tight to the ground. I think ultimately it ends up looking better. So let's go ahead and do some mowing and I'll show you a before and after. Hey, before I do start the mowing, I will tell you about this. I'm sure you've noticed I have some of this rubber nonstick stuff. <laughs> if there's one downside to mowing this mower, it's that that seed is slick. So when you're mowing on angles and you're turning this way and that way, your butt can want to slide right off that seat. So that's the reason that's on there. I started doing that and in the first year and I've been using that piece of a uh, shelfing uh non-skid rubber stuff there to keep my my big butt from sliding out, out of the seat and yeah i've got my dock uh dock mountain dew there i do usually put me a drink on there and i say it's a little dusty uh, but anyway awesome awesome machine here and we're getting ready to start that Kohler 7000 series is a beast hey friends i finished the primary mowing of my yard so you can see here how it looks You'll still see a few weeds and stuff up around the mulch. I use the weed eater for that, and I use a small push mower for this ditch here. I'm not gonna try to get the mower down into, the rod mower down into that. But you can see here how it's done on the rest of the, uh, of the yard. The one other thing I forgot to mention that I have done to this mower, and it didn't happen until this year. For three years, the battery worked fine. This year, when I started it up, the battery was dead. I tried to charge it. And I didn't go too in depth with that. Uh, I could see that I wasn't going to be able to charge it up to, the, you know, what was really a dependable uh, turnover for the engine. So I went and bought that at Lowe's, that Mag Magna Power. 
longer life here. Anyway, I got that at Lowe's hard wire for I think 60 bucks, 50, 58 bucks or something like that. 60 some dollars with tax. And so that's the only thing I've done. Uh, the, like I say, Christian uh, Williams has done my, just, he did sharpen the blades. And, and again, another shout out, shout out to Christian. Super reasonable. It was like under a hundred bucks both times. To change the oil, to do the work, replace the the uh, the belt, uh, and you know check the little. I guess any other filters and things are involved. He just did general maintenance on it, and this thing has been super dependable. So yeah, the battery's really the only thing I changed out, and just typical maintenance. Your 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 belts are going to wear out, and your. Uh, and your uh your blades are gonna have to be sharpened and oil's gonna have to be changed so there you go folks i could show you a whole lot more it's like there's a big hawk flying off in the distance i don't know if you can see that or not or it's the buzzard i can't tell way far off there in the distance anyway beautiful day in the foothills of western north carolina we are at about 1750 feet i guess we are actually really on a mountain it's called mineral springs mountain that's the top of mineral springs mountain over there and that is the south mountains off in the distance the largest uh state park in north carolina back off there that you're seeing but that's it the troy built hydrostatic super bronco fourth season no regrets buying this i have not had to do anything to the tires i don't think i've even pumped them up i don't think i've had even added air to the tires very uh dependable and I say again, because I'm a heavy guy in a challenging, a challenging terrain somewhat, I would think for riding along more, this thing has outperformed what I, I thought it would be able to do. Peace to all who watch. Subscribe to the channel if you like.